Hi, this is Smita Dev and welcome to Get Curried. Mutton Bailey Ram, as the name suggests, is curated by Chef Bailey Ram, who was the head cook in the kitchens of Maharaja Ranjit Singh of Patiala. The recipe is quite interesting, unique and very simple to make. So let's quickly get on with the recipe. So I have a kilo of mutton over here and I have crushed 6 cloves of garlic and 2 inches of ginger with 10 peppercorns. So I'm going to add that. 5 green chilies that are finely chopped, we're going to add this to the mutton. 1 inch of cinnamon stick and 8 green cardamoms. 1 tablespoon of red chilli powder. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, a teaspoon of coriander seed powder, a teaspoon of cumin seed powder, a teaspoon of kasuri methi, three sliced onions, and three cups of yogurt. Let's add some salt as well to this. And now simply mix all these ingredients together and marinate the mutton with this. So let's keep this aside for at least two hours for it to get marinated really well. You can keep it overnight as well, it'll taste better. It's been over two hours that we left the mutton to get marinated. It's time to cook it. So I've already heated a vessel. I'm going to add three tablespoons of ghee to this. Here I have some coriander seeds. I'm going to add a tablespoon of whole coriander seeds to this. And now immediately we're going to add the marinated mutton. Just let's sear the meat for three to four minutes on a high flame. And now what we're going to do is simply reduce the flame to a medium low and we're going to cover this and cook till the meat is done. We'd kept the meat to cook on a medium to low flame for almost an hour and a half. Just let's check if the meat is cooked. What an amazing aroma. And the curry is looking absolutely delicious lovely thick and as you can see the meat is falling off the bone so let's switch off the flame and remove this in a serving bowl let's garnish this with some ginger julians and very finely chopped fresh coriander and our Bailey Ram mutton is ready to be served. You can have it with parathas or any bread of your choice. So do try this interesting simple recipe and let me know and keep watching Get Curried. <laughs>